What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy right here with another, another, another up church. This is the last song on the album. And let's stop for one minute, Federico. We need to talk about this real quick, man. You guys got the motherfucking beat. We need to talk about this album before we get started with the last track. Because I, I just I just want to cut it at the end so like that we could just regroup our brains with this goddamn fucking album. Every song from the first one that I reacted to when he dropped the video for it months ago. To every single one that he's done before the album dropped till today. Then I'm pretty sure this last track is gonna be fucking fire. You you can't you can't make an album the way he made an album and end it with a trash rap or whatever he's gonna do at the end. Here there now here there now then. That's the name of the track. So you already know that he's gonna be talking his talk on this one. Just by the title. This album made me understand Up Church a little bit more. It made it made it, it let me see the growth of Up Church from the, the older stuff that I was doing before this album. He could damn near collab with anybody. The day that I wake up on a Friday and I see that Up Church and Eminem dropped a fucking track together, that's the day I'm quitting. I'm not working no more. There's no point. Up Church, this album has been 10 out of 10. I'm already, I'm gonna I'm include this song. I'm gonna include it. Because, I mean, am I wrong? Let me know in the comments down below if I was wrong. I enjoyed everything about this album. We talked, we had fun. We saw the levels that Up Church has gone rapping wise. Um, he we seen we seen the new the new flows, the new cadence that he's been using on his hooks and on his raps as well. Now, the only thing that I do not like about this album is that it was only twelve tracks. That's my only rife about it. And I understand why. I, I get it. No, I'm not saying that. I like, I, I, I like long albums. I believe the longer the album is, the, the, the bigger of a story you could paint on whatever you're trying to do with it. That's my only problem with it. It's a 12 track song. But no matter what, every track fire, come on, this is a perfect album. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a perfect album. That's why it's it's vibe reaction certified. Now, without any further of the do do's of church, let's end this shit strong, my brother. It is on you. Let's go. With this album, mainly with this album, I've seen, I've seen that he's been doing crazy things with the, with the, with the vehiculars. Like he's been, he's been pushing that limit that he had. Now it's, it's just open. It's, it's wide open and he can do whatever the fuck he wants now. When you start learning new pockets and new cadences that no one really does. It's amazing to me, like, where did you find that? Like, what zone were you in, in that booth, where you were recording, that you found that in you? See, I like the intricate parts of rap, man, because without the little small parts of rap, you can't make a perfect track. 
you got to pay attention to every detail on 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 your raps where bar placement and verse structure it, it, your cadence and your flow the beat selection that you choose for that track and it all has to make it make sense it's a lot of work these guys do when they make a track and he hasn't missed in his album in my opinion he has not missed in his album Talk to these niggas with your mohiculars, man. Story in a book to be read when we're gone. And we go back home. I'll be the wind when you need a breeze. I'll dance in the woods with you as a tree. Ooh! Oh, we got the poet, man. We got two up Shakur. Did you hear what the fuck that nigga said? He said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, nigga, say it again. <laughs> you need a breeze. I'll dance in the woods with you as a tree. Oh, I'll dance in the woods with you as a tree? What do you say before that, though? And you need a breeze. I'll dance. I'll be the wind when you need a breeze, man, boy. I'm gonna have to have up church write my Valentine's Day cards. Good shit. Wait, you see what I'm talking about, man? That's how you end a fucking album. That's how you end it on a on a on a on an emotional tip, bro. You start it strong and end it stronger because I believe one of uh, one of uh, Upchurch's biggest attributes that he has as an artist is his singing. He raps, raps. Don't, I, don't, don't get me wrong. I've always loved Up Church's singing more than anything else. It's just different, man. He, and he, you can hear it. Ah, da, 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 da. Just that flow is different, man. This is the R and B type shit, man. I love this. I'll be the wind when you need a breeze. I'll Ooh. dance in the woods with you. I'm gonna have to move in with you though. You can't move to Florida. We gotta, we gotta go to Tennessee. Nigga, what? Y'all not listening. That's the problem with y'all. Some of y'all motherfuckers, y'all listen to the beat and the cadence and y'all good with it. And y'all don't even listen to the words. Hey, that's, nigga, that's poetry. I'm not even bullshitting right now. Do listen to the words. Rain is me. I'll cover you up so no one can see. Ooh. I'll dance in the woods with you. cry in the rain then the rain is me i'm going to cover you up so no one can see i didn't see that in the weather channel i didn't see this nigga was a cloud yo it's different bro it's a it's a different type of nigga bro and, and he's my nigga because he's my nigga you're gonna make me cry now i don't I'm gonna put this thing as one of my dependents. I swear. It's with you as a tree. If you cry in the rain, then the rain is me. I'll Whoa. cover you up so no one can see. And right. I'll be here, there, now, then. Time ends on your last again. I'm a phantom riff, a ghost in a lens. And I'll be here, there, now. I've lived it up. And I strive to the Darkness right to the sky when I was lost. Came my own centaur too bright for the devil to boy. I would look. Actually, it's hard. It's hard because I'm trying to find the words to say. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to I don't want to sound stupid because this song deserves a lot more than my stupidity. Um It's different. It's just, it's just, it's hitting different. 
Like, that's a lot of emotion in, into this song. And you can hear it just by, by the poetry that he's just saying. It's just crazy. Nigga, fuck you. Came out Centauro. century hook of 2023 that was the hook nah when you need a breeze i'll dance in the woods with you as a tree if you cry in the rain then the rain is me i'll cover you up so no one can see and i'll be here there Look, listen. <clears throat> this nigga almost got me. I literally, that was you just guys just witnessed somebody getting choked the fuck up. I might be hyping this up. That if I am, what the fuck, whatever. But different. This is how you end it. I like how he ended it in the soft note. This the way I see it. You did your rap thing in this album. That is an absolute certainty. Fat, fat, fat. You had a whole bunch of dope ass features that made sense. Because sometimes these motherfuckers be putting features in their albums that don't make no fucking sense. Why are they even on there? Like, what's, a, what's an example? All right, so like, um, what's that name? That that track? It's Eminem and Young Ma, Young Ma. As fire as that song is, it didn't make any sense why she was on it. I need I need people to go back. It's a dope song. I love that fucking song. I play it over and over and over again. It's fire. It's fire. She did her thing, and M did his thing. Fire. Doesn't make no sense why they're in the track together. He brought her in just to make the young ma flip in the beginning. That's the only reason why he brought her in. Her verse was dope for what she does, but you can't put that on a lyrical rap like that. Not saying the young ma ain't lyrical, but there's levels. Come on, we got to keep it a hundred. There's levels on it. She, she did her thing, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't. Up church this whole album Project Pat, which everybody was telling me 3-6 Mafia, this, this, I don't really listen to 3-6 Mafia like that. I know who 3-6 Mafia is, but I don't go down that, that route. I know who Project Pat was, but it, every track, it made sense, the feature that was on it. It made sense. The beats, everything that he did with the album made sense. That's what makes, that's how you can tell when, uh, from, a, from a professional to an amateur. When you put this shit together, you have to look at every aspect of the track before you put it into a CD, record it, and send it out to people to buy it. I'm thinking old school. I'm not talking about streaming. Relax. Before you make it public, you have to make sure all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. You have to make sure everything is, there's not one minute mistake on it. Y'all motherfuckers want to put out music so much that y'all just fucking record, throw it, record, throw it, record, throw it. You're going to flood it and it's going to sound like shit. It's not going to make no sense. This all made sense. The whole thing made sense to me. Y'all got to get back up, Joe. Man, y'all got y'all niggas, niggas, niggas need to be given the respect with the respect is due. This album is is up there. This album is absolutely up there with like my top ten favorite albums 
ever. Absolutely. You, you have to understand, I don't just listen to what he's saying. I, I'm not judging this just by the bars and, and, and the schemes and whatever he's doing. I'm judging this as a whole in my brain. I don't know what placement he is in the top 10 because I'm listening to this song by song. Once I finish this song, I already have a playlist going on my side and I'm going to keep on playing this album over and over again so I can hear it and then I go judge where I'm going to place that in my top 10 because this is absolutely up there. Oh, church, this is Fire Relax. And he's coming out with a country album. Oh. I'm a phantom riff, a ghost in a land, and I'll be here, there now, now. I like that. I like that. He muffled the whole thing at the. Oh, that's just fire, bro. <laughs> I'll be the wind when you need a breeze I'll dance in the woods with you as a tree If you cry in the rain and the rain is me I'll cover you up so no one can see it and one of those songs though man these are one of those songs that you just man I, I do I did I tell you guys how much I love fucking sunsets I fucking love sunsets and I've never caught it I caught it one time on my whole entire life and it was me coming out of work and I was driving and I literally the sunset was in front of me on the horizon and it was just going down and, and I took that opportunity and I rolled down my windows I I Put a track that I know that was going to make me get in my fields because I just needed to be there. I needed to visit my feelings for a second. I forgot it was um, Justin Timberlake. It was a Justin Timberlake song. I think uh, Cry Me a River. Yeah. Yeah, it's Cry Me a River. So I played that song, rolled down the windows. I lit up a you knows with the you knows. The couple hits of that bitch. Clip that motherfucker. I ain't getting pulled over with a lip blunt. Are you fucking crazy? Put that in the ashtray. Lit up a cigarette. Jab, put that shit at a honey. And I just cruise towards the sunset. If you ever have an opportunity, if you ain't got nothing to do, and, and, and there's an opportunity that you know what time sunset's going to be where you at, I would, I would highly recommend you do that. It's better in a breezy night. I'm in Florida, so it gets humid and it kind of sucks if the windows are rolled down. But usually towards sundown is a little bit breezier, so you got a cool air going through. It's just it's just for um, meditation purposes. If you have a long day, you got a lot of shit on your mind. Take that opportunity if you ever get it, and just and just do that just to clear your head, get into another space. It'll make you feel a hundred times better, man. I'm just I'm over here trying to kick some game. That's all. Enrico. They didn't call me Uncle Ray for nothing, nigga. Come on, son. Here, there, now, then. Empower me up so I can shine when the world is darkest. Listen. Listen. Listen, our church. I only, this is, I'm going to start, I'm going to let you guys know this right now. I'm only going to be hitting this button when I think something is like amazingly, crazily, like, oh my Jesus Christ, help us all fire. All right, I've been using it lately, but I haven't been using it right. We're going to use it for what we need to use it for. If you see this, that means that this is absolutely top shit I've heard that day. The sh best shit I've ever heard. And this whole entire album, this song specifically, it got me to a whole other different level of understanding where Upchurch comes from mentally and emotionally. And I appreciate that more than anything fucking else. I know you can rap. I know you can break down the bars. You do all that. I know. 
I know. Yeah, had that. This showed me a different side of this nigga. A different level of, of emotion that I've never seen him in before. So this whole album, from front to back, from the music videos to the production of the of 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 the beat to the lyrics to the to the synonyms to the vehiculars, this whole album was absolutely one hundred and ten percent fire. Fire. Do it one more time. Fire. For the niggas in the back. Fire. Up church. I highly, 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 highly appreciate you for putting in this work and giving us what you just gave us as a whole album. I've been listening to rap for 38 years. I've been listening to music for 38 years. Because I, I don't really only listen to rap. I listen to everything. And when I said that when I say this gave me everything that I need in music, this is everything that I, I was hoping for this album to be. We, I, we didn't hype it up enough. We didn't hype it up enough. Up church, I appreciate you, man. I can't wait. I can't wait for the country album. That's going to be absolutely fire. Guys, like I said, uh, tomorrow I'm going to do a couple more videos. And then off Sunday. And then Monday I'm going live on the Shaky Vibe podcast. So tomorrow I'm going to do the the request that my guy gave me. Don't know. To go ahead and do an Upchurch track. I'm going to do two Upchurch tracks between tomorrow and Tuesday. So you're going to get some, some videos out of me sporadically throughout the weekend. This was absolutely awesome, brother. I really do appreciate this album. And it's definitely going to be on my top 10 albums of all time. That is a fact. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. I got two more coming. Peace.